I've been eating protein oats pretty much every day for as long as I can remember. It's my go-to breakfast and pre-workout meal. So today I'm gonna to share three of my absolute favorite overnight protein oat recipes. First thing you're gonna to need to do is grab three bougie ass looking containers. Not really, you can use whatever you want. So first recipe we're gonna do is an apple pie overnight oats. These are an absolute game changer. You're gonna grab 60 grams of oats. You can do rolled, but I prefer quick oats. Dump that in, followed by 30 grams of vanilla whey, and then about 120 mils of almond milk. Simply give that a little mix. Then from there, grab half of an apple. You're gonna chop it all up, but you're only gonna mix half of that through now. I also highly recommend not using a baby knife like I'm doing. Don't forget to give Big Xena a piece. After that, you're gonna grab one Biscoff biscuit. Now, if you've got these ones that come in a pack, just go Mike Tyson on them, crush them up, and then mix half of it through. Put the other half to the side with the other half of the apple. That's a lot of halves. Okay, after you do that, mix that all in and add a tiny bit of Yopro on top. About 40 to 50 grams should do it. Smooth that over into a base. Then simply place this in the fridge overnight or for at least a few hours. And then the next day or a few hours later, grab that other half of the Biscoff biscuit, sprinkle that over the top, get the other half of your apple, chuck that on, and then a dash of cinnamon. These are stupidly good. The calories for the entire meal are 507. It's 37 grams of protein, 65 grams of carb, and 11 grams of fat. Absolutely. Absolute banger. All right, moving on, second recipe, PB and dark choc overnight proats. These are absolutely perfect for breakfast or dessert. We're gonna start off with 60 grams of oats, 30 grams of salted caramel whey. Of course, you can use vanilla or chocolate, but I highly recommend salted caramel. And then dump in 120 mils of almond milk. Give that a bit of a mix. Then you're gonna grab one of these coals. Pretty sure you can get them at other places as well. No sugar added dark chocolate bars. Try to go Mike Tyson on it, but I'm not gonna lie, this one doesn't crush that easy. So give it a good whack with the edge of whatever this thing's called, just grab something hard and smash it up basically. Once you've got that crushed up, put half of it in the oats and mix that all the way through. And then the other half, you just sprinkle on top. Place that bad boy in the fridge overnight or for at least a few hours. In the morning, all you need to do is grab 10 grams of PB powder and pour that over the top. I use Macro Mike, but any brand will work. PB2 is another good brand I've used for this. The key with the PB powder is to only put a tiny dash of water into the bowl or the mug when you're mixing it through because if you do too much water you're going to ruin it but if you do too little you can always add a bit more the calories for this entire meal are only 441 38 grams of protein 43 grams of carb and 13 grams of fat the third recipe we're doing is a pb and j overnight proats this one the entire fam can get around 60 grams of oats into a bougie ass container and then you're going to do 30 grams of vanilla whey add a dash of this sugar-free maple syrup followed by 120 mils of almond milk and then mix that all in after this you're going to grab 20 grams of strawberry or raspberry jam and mix that through place this bad boy in the fridge overnight or for at least a few hours then in the morning all you're going to do is grab that pb powder again mix it with a dash of water and then pour that on top as the second base then simply top it with about 40 grams of raspberries and you're good to go calories for this entire meal is only 461 that's 38 grams of protein 57 grams of carb and only 9 grams of fat as you can tell i'm a massive fan of taste simplicity and convenience i've worked with thousands of people over the last decade to help them achieve their fitness goals and when it comes to nutrition which is usually the hardest part i've found that whenever those three boxes get ticked the taste, the simplicity, and the convenience. With their eating, it becomes 10 times easier to achieve their goals. Now, as always, you can simply increase or decrease the amounts of ingredients you need for more or less calories based on your specific calories and macronutrient needs. This is why I love these recipes. They're so simple and they don't take a thousand ingredients. And if you want, feel free to smash that subscribe button if you enjoy super simple high protein meals. And if you want an overnight protein oats recipe that's a little bit more basic and not so much on the sweeter side of things, check this video out here. It's the breakfast I used in this video when I did an entire week's meal prep in less than an hour. Hope that was helpful.